Hi, welcome to this week's edition of Beijing Minutes, with the top stories from around China. My name is Brian Michael Galvin. We start off with news that one Chinese United Nations peacekeeper was killed, with four other Chinese peacekeepers injured in a terrorist attack in Mali on Tuesday. A car bomb targeting a UN camp in the city of Gao in Mali exploded early Tuesday, according to China's foreign ministry. Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb has claimed responsibility for the attacks. The ministry spokesman, Hua Chunying, condemned the terrorist attack targeting UN peacekeepers as intolerable. This is a terror attack on the UN peacekeeping mission, a serious crime that cannot be tolerated. We express our strong condemnation. We urge the Mali government as well as the United Nations to take immediate investigation into the case and help with the aftermath. In other news, China is planning to launch the first quantum communication satellite in July and has also announced plans to explore parts of the moon next year. According to the Chinese Academy of Sciences, China will launch the first experimental quantum communication satellite in July. China is poised to become the first country to send encoded information from space that cannot be hacked into by third parties. China also plans to explore the moon's north and south poles next year. The State Administration of Science, Technology and Industry for National Defense said that the moon mission will take place in the second half of 2017, when China sends its lunar probe, Chang'e 5, on its first return trip to the moon to collect samples. China also has plans to become the first country to land on the far side of the moon. Also, Chinese President Xi Jinping met with a delegation from North Korea on Wednesday in Beijing. President Xi welcomed the delegation of the Workers' Party of Korea from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, which issued a briefing on the 7th WPK Congress, which was held early in May. The delegation delivered a message from the leader, Kim Jong-un, which said that his country is willing to consolidate and develop China DPRK relations and support regional peace and stability. Well, thank you for watching this week's edition of Beijing Minutes. Next week, we'll be taking a break for Duan Wujie, the Chinese Dragon Boat Festival. But please feel free to leave any questions or comments that you'd like for us to answer in our next video. Thank you very much.